Tom, a.k.a. Gerion here for Tabletop Taproom, and today is Miniatures Monday. Today we're discussing uh, painting eyes on miniatures uh, because this is one of the things that I consistently get comments on when I've got my miniatures out on the table. People are like, how do you paint your eyes? Uh, they like the eyes on my miniatures. So we're going to take a look at some, and I'm going to tell you my secret. I have a cheat that I do. And um, I'm not ashamed to say it. I cheat. I got a wicked cheat, and it's it's a good one. So this is Sala, named after Sala from Indiana Jones. He's got the nice fez going and the beard and the mustache. And uh, look at these eyes. Um, you know these these are really well painted eyes. Um, but again, it's a cheat. I don't even know who makes this miniature. Um, but again, you know, he's got, uh, he's got like a serious look and I think the eyes really convey it. Now, this is a flintlock miniature. It's called, uh, Madame Boniface. And basically it's a skeleton that's dressed up with a wig and a dress and it's got some, um, ratty gloves or, or the, the, you know, def defleshed arm put over its skeletal bones and it's got this mask and, uh, you know, so it disguises itself as if it's like a living being. And it's an interesting character from Flintlock. And let's get a different view here. So here's a better view of the mask. And you can see I've, I've done the eyes here and, and they, they really kind of pop uh, with, the, with the green there done in the center. And it's, uh, it's one of my favorite figures. Uh, I, I got hooked on Flintlock figures uh, years ago. They're a fantasy Napoleonic war game. Uh, this is another Flintlock figure. Um, he, you notice the pointy ears. So I said fantasy uh, Napoleonic war game. These, these, uh, the high elves in Flintlock are the French. They are the, they are the Imperial high elves and uh, they are the, uh, they are the French. Uh, this uniform, I believe, is a French voltaire. Um, and uh, again, uh, you know, the eyes, I, you know, the eyes make the look of the face. Oh, so here we have another one of these uh, voltaire um, elves. I did a squad of four of them back in the day. And, uh, you know, so this guy's got blonde hair. So I, I did his eyes in blue. And here we have a goblin where I've uh, painted the eyeball yellow and then uh, dotted his eye uh, with black there. So uh, he's got a really nice look. He's an archer, so he's got that nice like stare, like, uh, and I and I, I love the the expression on his face, particularly once his eye is painted. Now, now there's a lot of debate in war gaming circles about, you know, some people are like I don't even bother painting eyes. Uh, you know, and and I and I get I get their point because you're putting when you're wargaming and you're putting masses of figures on the table, you're looking at them from three feet away. <laughs> you may not see the detail from three feet away. The figure only has to look good from three feet away. So invariably, people will pick up your figure. Now, this this is not one I painted. This is a hero clicks. I'm just using him to show, but they'll pick up and they'll look at it and they'll be like, "Oh man, you painted the eyes." And people invariably look at it, and then they're like, uh, then they're impressed. And here's the thing. Maybe you don't need to paint them, but I was always painting for other people. I was taking commissions and painting for other people. And so you kind of need to do a little something to stand out, to kind of go, yeah, I'm that good. And uh, so painting the eyes, and because it's uh, – I found a simple cheat to do it. Um, it was something that was just way too easy for me to do that it was, I was just not going to do it. It was not going to not do it. And so it's, uh, it was a way of kind of making your bones and saying, yeah, I'm that good. And you should hire, you know, hire me to, you know, paint some figures for you. Because I was, I, you know, I was injured and out of work. And so I was making money on the side by painting figures for other people and uh, never getting my own figures <laughs> paint, 
painted <laughs> inevitably, but uh, I was I was doing a lot of painting for a lot of other people or uh, painting and then selling on eBay. So uh, so how is how does this cheat work? So this here is the secret. These are micron markers. by Pigma. Pigma Micron Markers. Now they come in all different sizes. The size you want is the zero, it's right here on the end of the cap, it's the 005. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Uh, that is a very tiny, um, that is a very, very tiny marker point. And so what I do is I will paint the eyeball white or yellow or whatever the base color of, of the eyeball is going to be. And then I do what your th third grade grammar teacher told you to do, and that is dot your eyes. And so I pull out the micron marker and I just dot both eyes. The, the trick is, is to, you know, make sure that, you know, it's not like one eye is going this way, one eye is going that way. That'll look goofy. You make sure you get them you know, get them in line and uh, so that they're looking the same direction. And uh, these come in, in a lot of different colors. Uh, black, this is a black. Oh, that's an 05. We want, and that's an 02, 005. So you want the 005, and it is just a tiny, tiny little point on there. And you're going to dot that I. And so the, the, the paint goes on, and... Then the micron marker comes out. Take a look at this face here for a second. Now, this is blown up, so it looks big. But that little round circle, that is the 005 tip making that. And so on a 28, 32 millimeter figure, it's perfect for making the the round iris. I don't even bother trying to get the, the black in the center. I just do the color because again, you're looking at this from a distance. So, you know, even at 18 inches from your face, you're seeing the blue eye. You don't necessarily see the little black iris in there. I don't even bother trying to do that, but I definitely put the round dot and that look how round that is. That's just the end of the pen making the dot. Now you say, well, that's kind of a cheat. Well, this is permanent ink. So what's the difference between, you know, and we do paint, we do, we do do a lot of effects with ink, ink washes and so on and so forth. So ink is used in painting of figures. Why not this? It's a nice tool. It puts a nice round dot, you know, if you steady your hand and, you know, I do, I usually bridge off the other hand that's holding the miniature and do a nice controlled little dot and I get both eyes done and then they look fabulous. A little bit of brown wash. Um, back in the day, originally I used Ogren flesh wash from um, Warhammer there, the company there, Games Workshop. I used their Ogren flesh. Well, they stopped, they renamed it uh, like Reich Shade something. And uh, so that's what I use, you know, and I'll do a, a wash on the face and we get the nice brown you know, tone and grit in and around the nose and around the mouth, uh, in all the deep crevices, um, particularly after painting the white of the eye, uh, we do the wash and then I dot the eye. Um, if the wash really muddies up the white of the eye, I'll go back over it again with a, a little bit more white, uh, wait for that to dry and then dot. And these eyes, they come out fantastic. And in the case of Sala here, Notice that uh, you're not getting a lot of white because the dot. Well, his eyes are small. He's kind of, you know, a little bit squinty there going on. So that that black dot in the center of his eye um, kind of obscures. So it, it's a great effect on him. And he's and he's got that great, like, stare going. It, it, it really makes this figure pop. So it's a cheat. But it works, and you just can't argue with results. And 
you know, it, it's, it's just been something I've been doing for years now. And even now, even though I don't paint for other people now, I haven't really taken commissions and uh, taken a commission in years. Um, you know, I just continue to do it, you know, and, and in part, when it's an RPG figure, sure, you, you probably want to dot the eyes. When it's a wargaming figure, you'd be like, you know, I'm doing a regiment of 30 uh, soldiers for the for the wargaming table. I don't know that I want to paint it. I just I just keep doing it. It's wicked easy. And, uh, you know, the eyes always pop and it always draws attention. And when it comes to selling them on eBay, a photograph like this that really zooms in and gets the face can sell the figure because they're like, whoa, you went to the trouble to paint these eyes. What other details have you painted on this figure that I'm not seeing? So that it, it, uh, it doesn't hurt the resale uh, value of these figures. Uh, you know, if, if I, I wouldn't part with Salah, I just like him. But, you know, I'm always thinking like the little embellishments to make the figure stand out so that uh, later on down the road, if I sell him, you know, I can command the price I want to get. I, you know, I'm not going to get lowballed, uh, you know, on a, on a price. So that's my cheat. It's, uh, there you have it. Again, the, they don't smudge. They're permanent. Um, you can write with these on really thin paper. Uh, it doesn't bleed through. They're an absolute, um, one of my favorite art supplies of all time. Nice. I always dot my eyes, but that's what uh, you know, Mrs. Uh, Laframboise told me in that Notre Dame Elementary School. Dot your eyes. So um, that's my advice. Start dotting your eyes. Get a micron marker, and the colors you want. Uh, you're going to want black, brown, green, blue, and red if you're doing fantasy figures uh red's just handy uh, you know i had a commission to paint a like a regiment of warhammer fantasy wolves uh for like the undead army and i did i dotted all their eyes with red and the you, the by the guy who commissioned them loved it um uh, and a bunch of other undead in that army i mean not skeletons their eyes are just dark sockets but a bunch of the other undeads uh, in that army that had eyeballs got dotted with red. And so it was a nice effect and, uh, you know, it really worked well with that army. And, uh, the guy was very impressed with all the extra embellishments like the dotted eyes that we did. So, uh, that's my advice on painting eyes that pop. Truth is I don't really paint them. I just, <laughs> I just mark them with a marker. Oh, well, sue me. <laughs> Nobody who's commissioned me to paint a figure has ever complained about the eyes. So that's how I do it. Uh, and we get really good results. And you can do it too. It's, it's simple. It's, it's absolutely a simple process. So this is Tom for Tabletop Tap Room. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys are great. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notifications when we release a new video. And uh, Keep on gaming.